Hey you all and good morning. We are in North Carolina, Fayetteville. Here, Fayetteville, North Carolina. We drove down uh drove down from Rochester. We stopped we did a little stop in uh, in Baltimore. I ended up not filming anything. Uh, I did. Yeah. Jen, Jen, we stopped at a little toy store. Jen, <laughs> Jen filmed a video for her channel, Jenny Penny. What's a, the, the new handle? It's at Jenny Penny YouTube. YouTube. It's long. That is long. Someone took Jenny Penny. Yeah. There's, there's apparently some other Jenny Penny somewhere. Your, your, <laughs> your evil alter ego. But uh, yeah, we're headed down, headed down to Florida. I'm uh, just gonna be, I think, doing a little bit of filming on the way down today, and uh, hopefully everything will go smooth. So please That's follow. Smooth. That's smooth. Yeah. Please follow us. Yes, there's simply no way to pass by that giant sombrero and stop here at south of the border. Now I visited about eight months ago and when I visited they told me the sombrero tower that there was a, a elevator inspector coming next week to, uh, to inspect it and determine whether or not it could reopen. So let's find out if the sombrero tower is open. So we enter here underneath the Sombrero Tower through the arcade, that giant tower looming above us. I definitely love these old school little merry-go-rounds. No, it's closed. When does it open? It says elevator rides are $4. But the arcade is not open yet. Oh, dag, 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 nab it. It was currently about 10.20 a.m. The uh, tower is closed. The arcade is not open. It says online it should be open. It opens at 8 o'clock. So I don't know what time the uh, Sombrero Tower actually opens. Let's stop here and peek inside Pedro's Mexico shop. See all this south of the border merchandise, all these t-shirts. You can see little Pedro there. SOB of course stands for South of the Border. Personalized Christmas ornaments. Do they do they have what you're looking for, Jen? Do they have a Jacob? What about Jen? Have that Jen, do you know why they don't have Jacob here? Why? Because these ornaments are for dogs. Oh. <laughs> dog, dog ornaments. That's why they have names like uh, Rocco, Rocco, and, <laughs> and Spot. Ringo, and Spot, and. Uh, but they also have like Tootsie. Sophie and Spencer. Sophie's gonna be a dog's name. I mean, any people name can I be a dog this name. I thought a cute little Christmas cottage. Oh, now I see the bone. It's, right. Yeah, it's got it's got a, a dog bone right oh, there. Brutus little... and Bubba and Bruiser. These are some good dog names. So when you were seeing these names, you weren't like, something's up here. No, no, I, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> this is early. <laughs> yeah, here's the south of the border Christmas section. Look at this little kid here with the Santa beard. You find the Christmas ornament you wanted, Jen? Yeah, it's not a dog one this time. It's, it's a little a, Pedro. A little Pedro. A little cactus. Here are sensational stockings. Looks like it is a, uh, it's a sto Christmas stocking that looks like a fur coat, I think. Here's the hat section here. All these different hats to wear. There's the captain's hat. It says, I'm their leader. Which way did they go? It's a double build novelty hat. This guy here, the big, big goofy hat. And he has Pedro, Pedro's, uh, weather forecast on his shirt and then you got, you're, you're looking at a cheeseburger hat there Jen 
you gonna you gonna put that on? It's, it's delightful. My hair's up too high. It's delightful. That little Pedro hat. What are the things on the side for? Oh, how do you do this? They're supposed to go up and down. Up and down. Is it doing Wait, something? what? That is very strange. What is it doing? It's like just flip flopping. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here's like little tiny sombreros. You can take that home and put it on your chinchilla. Yeah, yeah. Have. you actually own you actually yeah. own that. Yeah. You have it at your house. Yes, I own this. How often do you wear it? Oh, maybe like once a year. What, a what day of the year? What do you bring well, it out for like it Cinco de Mayo? Well, I wore it at work for a crazy hat day. Crazy hat? Well, I guess it's certainly it's certainly a crazy hat. Oh, that's too crazy for me, Jenna. <laughs> There's a vicious, bloodthirsty camel wearing a blonde wig and a, yeah. and a straw cap. I think this here, it's like the little animals that you thought they're tiny and then you put them in water and then they grow and swell to be enormous. Some maracas there. Oh, Jen, careful. <laughs> You're out of control. I know. That's true. I think it's important to note that South of the Border has the cheapest postcards known to man at only 10 cents each or 12 for a dollar. That is a bargain when it comes to the world of postcards. And in addition to that, it's actually on the honor system. Look over here, we got the world's largest beer stein. I mean, I've never seen one that big. We can buy it. Oh, it's actually for sale yeah. for uh, three thousand five hundred dollars. So yes, for uh, over a decade, I've been trying to get a ride to the top of the Sombrero Tower. I'd come by. They say it's closed for the day. Oh, uh, you know, they, they'd say, "Oh, it'll be open tomorrow." And uh, I talked to other people. Other people said that uh, they had had the same experience. So it's almost like uh, it had been secretly closed for probably about a decade. Um, I don't know if it's open again. Last time I was here, they said that they were going to get it. They were going. They were that it was fixed. They just needed to have it, it, it uh, inspected. But as I arrived today, the arcade is closed at the bottom, so um, I guess to keep on, have to, I guess we'll have to, you know, we'll have to, we'll have to wait till next time. So this giant gorilla here wearing a t-shirt. This actually used to be in front of the t-shirt shop, but sadly they tore the t-shirt shop down. And they, they eliminated it last year. And how are you doing, Pedro? Got a big blue hippo there. You like you like hippos? I love hippos. They're so cute, but also ah, like they'll kill you. They will kill you. Well, look at your oh, he would never kill anybody. He's look at him. Oh guy, he would just cuddle you. Looks like the big guy here getting a getting a fresh paint job. Let's see, he has uh, he had red pants previously. Looks like he's getting a nice uh, nice makeover, changing his pants to blue. Got some nice fancy blue pants being applied. Yeah, one thing I love about coming to south of the border is it seems like all the animals have a new paint job every time I come. You can see we got the yellow donkey, the green donkey, and the blue donkey. Looking at some of the wonderful fiberglass creations here. Oh, my boy, the jackalope. Currently, it's a pink coat of paint. And uh, then we have the brontosaurus wearing a sombrero. Here we go. Woohoo! Uh -huh. Always gotta hop aboard my buddy here. Every time I visit South of the border. You almost fall there. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I just noticed the open sign is back on over here at the arcade. Maybe, fingers crossed, maybe we'll get a sombrero ride. It's actually like a little pool hall in here. And it's a coin-operated 
pool game. It's only only a dollar per game. That doesn't yeah, it seems like a good good price for a game of pool. Here's a game of wacky ducks. Let's put a coin there. Oh no, here they go. Push the button and the box single punches the ducks. Let's see, there we go. You gotta line it up perfect. It gives the ducks a good punch in the face. All right, we got two tickets to paradise. Look how happy this man is. Yeah, it's been, I've been waiting. It's been over 10 years since I rode the Sunbrow Tower. I'm so like, excited. Look how cute he is. Look how happy. <laughs> All right, we head back this way, past the pig, and we have, oh, please wait for the elevator attendant to assist you. Oh, hello there. Hey. Got our tickets. Into the tower. Excited? I am. <laughs> never been on a giant somewhere else. Never been on a giant somewhere else. <laughs> All right, you can see into the arcade there as we lift up through the roof. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, here we go. Went up to the top of the sombrero tower. You see the leg of the tower right there. So we head all the way up to the top. Oh my. Oh yeah, you can see the bottom of the hat there. We are in the sombrero. Here we are in the brim of a giant sombrero. Look behind you, Jan. You can see the top of the sombrero tower. So yeah, peeking out here from top of the sombrero, looking down on uh, 95 there. You can see the peddler steakhouse there. It's a steakhouse inside a giant sombrero. A lot of big sombreros here. There is the hotel lobby and pool known as Pedro's Pleasure Dome. Yeah, just look at this. Inside the sombrero there. See the top of the hat. Yeah, it's been a long, long time since I've been up here. Over 10 years since I've arrived here while this was operational. Oh, there's a lot of birds up here as well. Look at all those birds. Look down there and see the Myrtle Beach shop. Next to the main gift shop there with the big man in front. Yeah, there appears to be a colony of pigeons living in the very tippy top of the hat there. And you know, if I could, I think I would just stay in this giant sombrero for the rest of my life. But we got, we gotta be moving along. All right, so we'll head back down the elevator. So we gotta hit this button. When the gentleman dropped us off, he headed back down. And it says, I guess, push this and ready to come down. I guess that sends him a message and he'll, he'll come up and get us. Hello? Oh, I just noticed they do have their the tower decorated for Christmas. Let's so head back down into the arcade. Down through the roof like the great Wonka Vader. So super excited to finally get back up in the Sombrero Tower. I did, I think maybe like 15 years ago, I, I rode up to the top, but then ever since then it has been closed or seemingly closed. I don't know the whole story. Just every time I came here, it was never operating and no one I knew ever found it operating either, but it is operational. You can go up into the top. It's a wonderful view and I'm, and I'm super excited that I finally got to get back up there. 
You can see the poor bathroom Pedro here is just riddled with stickers and graffiti. Come on guys, leave Pedro alone. And while we were here, the big guy got his pants painted completely blue. Well, you can see the Silver Slipper Arcade has now been changed into Bargain Ben's Outlet. And apparently Bargain Ben is a beaver. He's adorable! <laughs> He's dressed like Pedro. And we have arrived in the great state of Florida. You can even see some of the sunshine right there. Of course, entering Florida, always have to stop at the Florida Welcome Center because Florida, Florida knows how to make you feel welcome. And look at welcoming us to Florida. We have a jazz dolphin. You can see on the front of the dolphin it says Clearwater Jazz Holiday. He's got some like piano notes spiraling out of his dolphin mouth. Got a saxophone on his back or a Baxophone, oh if you will. Baxophone? No? I like it. You like it? Okay. Of <laughs> course, oh. when you arrive in Florida, you get a complimentary glass of orange juice. And look at this. The lady was nice enough to give us one of each a. Uh, orange juice and a grapefruit juice. So she said she liked your hat. Yeah, she said she liked my hat, so she gave me both. But you got both too and you don't even you don't even have a hat. Well, I said I was with you. Okay. So drink it. Don't it. Which one? Try? try the orange juice. The classic. It's good. It's good. Now drink the grapefruit juice. You don't like grapefruit juice? It's okay, actually. No, it's better than I thought it would be. You thought it would be too tart? Yeah, no, this is actually not bad. Yeah. Um, oh, that classic orange juice. Mm. Oh, so wonderful. You know, Florida, Florida knows how to welcome someone. You know, you're from New York. <laughs> At the, the rest, the welcome center there, they don't, they don't give you nothing. No, sometimes not even twelve. They just say, get out of here. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> Grapefruit juice that? there. Mm. It's very, very tart flavor, but very tasty as well. Here is the mascot for the Florida citrus industry. Captain Citrus. Captain Citrus. I'm so excited. Yeah, you haven't met Captain Citrus before. No. They used to have the orange bird was their mascot, but they've, they've updated to Captain Citrus. And did you know, Jen, that Captain Citrus is actually a member of the Avengers. My favorite Avenger. He's your favorite Avenger? You like him better than uh, Captain America or the Hulk or Thor? I'm gonna keep seeing how many Avengers he can Is Is Doctor Strange an Avenger? Yes. Okay. And then there's the Hawkeye? Yes. And the Black Widow? Yes. And is Wong an Avenger? No. Okay. Giant Man. Giant Man? Yeah. Who's Giant Man? Who's Giant Man? I've never heard of Giant Man. <laughs> There's Ant Man. He's yes. an Avenger, right? Um, I don't know. The Black actually. The Black Panther He's is an, an Avenger. Avenger. Captain Citrus is an Avenger. He's my favorite. He's your favorite. When is uh When's his uh When's his Disney Plus show coming out? That's what I want to know. Avengers Assemble. <laughs> we even got a little campsite set up here inside the Welcome Center. The kayak and tent there. Oh, and a nice Florida meal of uh, spaghetti rings and barbecued chicken. We have the NASA spaceman here. You can see his hands a little worn because everyone loves, everyone loves, to, everyone loves to shake his hand. Thank you, sir. Thank you for visiting space. I, I'd love to shake your hand. What you getting, Jen? Oh. I'm getting some orange juice because that little cup was not. <laughs> it made me want more orange. Made juice. you crave orange juice? Oh, there it goes. I can't be the only one that does this, right? That's how they get you. I know. They I give you the. Just, well, I really thought I'd walk in here and the whole menu was just <laughs> orange juice. They give you the little shot glass. It gets you hungry for orange juice. You come in here and yeah. you spent how much was that? Three dollars. Three dollars on that orange juice. Mm -hmm. Is it good? 
We have a nice guys one in the Walton Center actually. <laughs> Oh, we're getting a little ice cream treat here. What are you getting, Jen? I have an orange cream bar. An orange cream bar. Orange since... Oh, wait, there's like a little like, look at this like Ooh, robot arm. Wait, it, what is happening? Is it a vacuum? It's like a, I think it's like a vacuum. And it like sucks, <laughs> sucks onto the orange bar. And uh... Where's it taking you? Yeah, where's it going with that? Well, this was worth it alone here. <laughs> Oh, going down, going down. Is it a droid? Look at it. Oh, yeah, the freezer closes. Okay, let's go. Thank you. Drops. That was really exciting. <laughs> it kind of was. So, you got your orange ice cream bar to go with your orange juice. You've gone full Florida. I have. <laughs> Been here, what, 10 minutes? Yeah. So, how do, you, how do you like Florida so far? You asked me a second ago, I was like, I want to move here. And there's orange juice and palm trees and weird birds. So you've been, yeah, you've been to Florida 10, 15 minutes and you already want to live here? Yeah. And just That's drink orange juice and eat ice cream orange yeah. bars. And see palm trees. And Captain Citrus. It's a little pest control sign. I like the, the pest control mascot is like a, it's like a happy little elf there. But no time to sit around and drink orange juice. We got to be moving along. So today we've stopped at some places that I that I never drive past. Never drive past south of the border and its magnificent sombrero tower. Never drive past the Florida Welcome Center without getting a cup of refreshing orange juice. And I never drive past Bucky's. And here is the beaver himself, Mr. Bucky. Jen, do you like Bucky? I love Bucky. Look how cute he is. Now we've been to a Bucky's before. Yes. I think we were in Kentucky. Yep. And you uh, you enjoyed your time. I did. I love Bucky. And you like you like you like the beaver himself. Like you like the the little. Well, I mean, I like everything. They have really cute stuff in there, and the food's good. And... Uh, oh, look at the beaver. Yeah, it looks like you got a little bit of a little bit of bird poo there. He's Bucky poop head. Between the eyes. Aww. And for the uh, holiday season, they have their uh, inflatable Bucky there. And Jen lost her mind <laughs> when she saw inflatable him. Bucky. He lights up, he self inflates. I think it's funny here in the back, it actually shows that Bucky is as tall as a man. And fatter. It's a little chunkier than that man. Well, how'd he be right? And it looks like Bucky is ready for Christmas. You come here almost any season, they have a different set of Bucky shirts. Are you, what's that? It's a Bucky ornament. A little Bucky ornament. Yeah, I got an ornament what south of the border, so I need a Bucky ornament. You need a Bucky ornament. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what else we got here? We got a little, oh, they have little Bucky's little trucky there. And the different Bucky, uh, trucky. Bucky ornaments. That one had a scratch. So. It has a scratch on it. Yeah, so we're gonna go. Here's the whole, oh, the here's the picture here. It's Bucky playing the saxophone under a Christmas tree surrounded by other Bucky's playing different instruments. He says, it's not about what's under the tree, it's about who's rocking around it. And then also they have this tie-dye Santa hat, Bucky, and a Bucky in a Christmas wreath there. Jacob! What? There's also hats and Bucky's a reindeer. Oh, there's a Bucky hat right there? He's a reindeer. He's a reindeer? Yeah. Bucky's, we usually have some Location specific t shirts. Here's the Bucky's Florida shirts. You can see Bucky there on a uh, surfboard there. You can go get the classic shirts that have the location of the Bucky's on them. See, normally they do have the beaver suits here. They actually have the Santa slash Bucky beaver suit. That's the hood. It's like a, a full body suit. It even has, it has the beaver tail. Do you like this, Jen? I love it. But, yeah. See, Jen is Jen is a big Christmas, a big Christmas yeah. person, and she you also like Halloween and, I like and she's obsessed with beavers as well. So this is this is everything to her. It is. It's everything. <laughs> Here you can see the mannequin actually wearing the Santa Bucky outfit. So yeah, the hood, the beaver hood goes over your head. You got the Santa Claus, and let me see. Yeah, he does. He does have the, the beaver tail back there. Yeah, I'm actually surprised by how much Bucky's Christmas stuff they have. Look at these Bucky's 
long underwear there. It's got the Bucky face on it. Even has the back part where you can unbutton it so that you can you can poop without taking off your Bucky's long underwear. There's Bucky's Christmas ornaments. Bucky's stockings there. And I guess even a little Bucky's Christmas sweater for uh, your chinchilla. I've never seen a creature quite like this. This is like a mermaid gnome. It has the body of a gnome and the head of a mermaid's bottom. And they do have some non-Christmas Bucky stuff back here that looks uh, new. You have a uh, Bucky's, like camo Bucky's uh, hoodie, and then 90s wrapper Bucky there. Now I thought this was ridiculous last time I went to Bucky's, the Bucky phone holder, and I actually, but I actually bought one, and I actually do use it. Actually, when I'm on my computer, I will put my phone in the little Bucky holder, and actually, it's kind of nice if you like want to watch something while you're like editing videos or on your computer. And here I have some Bucky Santa hats. Here's an interesting space-themed Bucky shirt. You can see an astronaut planting uh, the Bucky flag in uh, in space. Here in the big truck, we have the giant Bucky as usual, but I just noticed that the little Buckies all have Santa beards. A little Santa Bucky there, his little Bucky beard. Now we got some uh, Thanksgiving shirts over here, but actually Bucky, not in any of them. Bucky uh, foregoes Thanksgiving in favor of Christmas. Let's see this uh, shirt here, I'm your cranberry. Bucky puts the lotion on the fur. All right, I did find some Bucky Thanksgiving t-shirts over here at the other entrance. And on the back it says, thankful, blessed. It has the back of Bucky's truck full of pumpkins. And then it's got Bucky in a pumpkin on the front. And there's a Bucky beaver nugget bib, I guess. I don't like the beaver nuggets. I, I they're, 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 they're like almost like a cereal with like puffy cereal that's like really really sugary and sweet. I don't like them. You don't like the beaver nuggets? Of course you never know what Bucky's like to pick up some of that uh, Bucky's Texas barbecue. See him chopping the brisket right there. All right, so gonna have a little bit of, uh, I wanted to try the barbecue turkey sandwich. I've never had it before. I've always gotten the brisket. Usually my go-to is the brisket and the uh, sausage on a stick. I got that too, the turkey. You got the turkey? I'll try it with you, instead of making me? Bucky wave. So yeah, you bought that Santa Bucky. I was trying to refrain, and I'm like, no, I won't she get bought it. bought a few other things too. A whole bag. <laughs> A whole bag of Bucky I got birds. two ornaments and a stocking and a present for my sister. Okay, so that's, that's what the turkey sandwich looks like. It's got some barbecue sauce on it. Some pink turkey, so I don't know if that's like smoked, smoked turkey. Mm. Pretty good. Got that smoky taste to it. Like your turkey sandwich? Mm -hmm. So appreciate you guys watching this video today. Did I did a few things? Everything in this video is like things that I always stop for. Always got to stop for South of Border. Always got to stop for the Florida Welcome Center to get that orange juice. And you always got to stop at Bucky's to uh, spend way too much money on Beaver merchandise. Yeah. And get some Texas barbecue. <laughs> um. We're gonna be having some fun the next few days. We're gonna be spending a while in uh, down here in Florida. We've got some fun activities planned. Hope you guys join us. All new things for me. All new things. This is our first time in Florida. Well, Asterix, she was here in Florida when she was a young child, but this is her first time as a... I was like two or three yeah. and I don't remember anything. I remember the plane ride and looking out and seeing the clouds. And I remember a snake in my grandmother's backyard and that's it. That's it. Like So I'm gonna show her some things. <laughs> I'm gonna show her there's more to Florida than just snakes in your grandma's backyard. <laughs> yes.
But thank you guys so much for watching. If you like these videos, please subscribe. I'll let you know when new videos come out. I travel travel around the country filming roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun stuff. Hey, Bucky. <laughs> uh, if you'd like to support the channel, uh, consider uh, donating to Patreon. $3 a month. We get your postcard once a month from me to you. I mean, also have uh, enamel pins in the Etsy shop, including the, a new one. the brand new uh, Kawaii Fiji Carpet Bagger oh. Merman. Merman? It's yep. a Merman! Merman. And all that helps keep this train on the track, this boat on the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag. In the beaver bag! In his Santa sack! And Bucky's Santa.